my immediately previous video in terms of um, time to this one was about me uh, looking at repairing a soldering iron and what to do with it. Well, uh, I've been down the middle of Lidl. And uh, guess what? There was a soldering station in the box, reduced by 30%. And I don't know if you can see the price there. 6 99 i.e. seven pounds. How can it be worth repairing I like to repair things, that's why I was saying this is the repair shop, including two reels of solder, they're still in there. It's uh, sealed. With three years guarantee. Oh my goodness. So seven pounds, it's uh, not worth doing anything with the other one. And I've got another soldering workstation, as it were. Okay. Uh, uh, but you, on other bits of these videos, you'll see things about lathes and things about bikes. So here we have our lathe and bicycle cleaning brushes. So this one is perfect for going uh, through the hole in the um, spindle, the main spindle of the lathe. You might get chips and things getting behind the chuck into there. Shove that through. Uh, yes, you nicely get all the uh, debris and chips out and the handle's small enough to follow it through you know you can push it through like a an old rifle pull through and then all various other things these other ones are great for getting between the um cogs or the uh, parts of a cassette or front chain wheel on a bicycle and this is great just for cleaning different bits of your bicycle and things like that so some lovely cleaning uh, tools for lathes and bicycles. Incidentally, in that same, uh, whatever it was, reduced bit, for 11 quid, I picked up the battery work light and I got some of these drills. They're cheap as chips at, uh, what's that say there? Five pounds 60. Uh, they've got some fractional millimeter sizes. You all have seen them before, uh, you know. They're not the strongest of drills. I do a fair bit in plastic and soft metals, uh, but they'll go through steel. I've had them through steel. So there we are. That's the end of the soldering iron repair saga for now.